From keeping up with pigs and schedules and keeping the drama and the salary low, the Kardashians give their assistants a full list of do's and don'ts to follow so they can keep up with their dramatic lives. The Kardashian Jenners are some of the most famous people on the planet, and to work for them is to get a peek behind an incredibly exclusive curtain. But if you can't respect the family's boundaries, then it may not be the gig for you. As Kris Jenner told the Huffington Post in 2018, we try to have people on our team who have our back, who we feel that we can really trust. It's about being discreet and being private. If somebody has something that's happening in your life at the moment, and it is a private thing, then somebody would need to have a lot of respect for that. Seems fair enough, no? Kylie Jenner's former assistant, Victoria Villa Roel, has also said that discretion was a top priority from day one. Kylie Jenner to the foyer. Kylie Jenner to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. As she revealed on the Kylie Jenner app, Kylie pretty much poured her heart out to her when they first started working together, saying, Kylie said, close the door. I want to tell you my deepest secrets. We just talked forever. I think that's when we bonded. As for how Villa Roel landed the job in the first place, the long and short of it, she simply clicked with the reality star. As she shared on a 2019 episode of the Girl Cult podcast, we just got along. I'm not a crazy person. I'm trustworthy. We just liked each other. Sleep? What's that? Anyone who wants to be a Kardashian assistant is going to need to keep up with the Kardashians. Literally. If you don't, things may get catty. It's ridiculous for you to just not do that for me as a favor, because I've done so much for you. The famously career-driven Kris Jenner has said that her assistant would need to be ready to work constantly because her schedule never seems to slow down, telling the Huffington Post, It's really non-stop, 24-7 brainstorming and creativity, and just trying to get organized and really pack a lot into a day, being there non-stop with all engines blazing. She also revealed in a 2019 Push interview with Kourtney Kardashian that she wakes up at 4.30 a.m. every day and starts checking her emails pretty much the moment she opens her eyes. Working for one of Chris's children is no more lax when it comes to availability either. Kylie Jenner's former assistant, Victoria Villaroel, revealed the makeup mogul would reach out at all hours of the day when she was an employee, saying, She'll call me at 2 a.m. I will answer. I don't really have set hours. It's pretty much whenever duty calls. 9 to 6, you could come to me with ideas. 9 to 6, you're not even up until 11 o'clock. And it sounds like it doesn't matter exactly what you're doing for the famous family. 24-7 availability is preferred. Jessica DeFino told Vice in 2022 that when she was an assistant on the family's apps, she was apparently expected to work hard at all hours of the day to make sure everything ran smoothly, adding, days, nights, holidays, weekends, whenever and wherever I was needed. If there's one thing the Kardashian Jenners already have enough of, it's drama. I bought her a career. It's just lame to not do me a favor. And as Kris Jenner has made abundantly clear, when looking for a new employee, she seeks out someone who knows how to stay out of all the fray and won't create any unnecessary trouble. When she partnered with Bumblebiz, the networking arm of the popular dating app, to hire a new assistant in 2018, she explained to the Huffington Post, Listen, the reason that I went with Bumble is because it stands for some of the things that are important to me and that I also personally stand by, which is kindness and respect and equality, both on and offline. And I think they're important qualities that I'm looking for in a personal assistant, just, you know, as a human being. It can sometimes happen in such close quarters coupled with so much pressure, though, as former Dash employee Stephanie de Souza admitted that competitiveness could bring the claws out. She told E! News in 2015 that Dash employees would often show what she described as cattiness and jealousy. The Kardashians need a well-rounded individual on their team, as being a Kardashian Jenner assistant involves a little bit of everything. Victoria Villaroel revealed that when she began working for Kylie Jenner, her main role was more actually that of housekeeper, sharing in an interview on the Kylie Jenner app, I helped the house run. Like groceries, cars, everything just had to be perfect. You basically do scheduling, travel, events, or any appearance that she has, award shows, the stylists, booking all her appointments, and keeping her calendar up to date. Kim Kardashian's former assistant, Stephanie Shepard, has also said there's a lot of learning on the job. Roles constantly change depending on what's going on with the family, such as preparing to welcome a new baby, 
As Shepard recalled to Refinery29 in 2017, Shepard played a big role in helping Kim prior to daughter Northwest's birth, saying, I was doing her whole schedule, doing her laundry, booking travel, putting the stroller together, and all of these things. Khloe Kardashian found out she needed to be a jack-of-all-trades the hard way when she playfully took on the role of her mom's assistant during a season 18 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. From scanning documents to sampling all the office snacks, Khloe took on whatever Chris threw her way, quipping, I'll do it, with a smile and my little assistant shoes on. To borrow a line from the hit single by the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum Kim Zolciak berman don't be tardy for the party not when it comes to the Kardashians, at least. It turns out the family are no fans of employees who don't have good timekeeping skills, as love and hip-hop star Erica Mina has shared. Mina worked for the Kardashian sisters in their Miami Dash store before becoming a reality television star in her own right, and noted she butted heads with Khloe Kardashian over her punctuality, explaining to Vlad TV, I was late a few times and Khloe wasn't having it. I think Khloe took more offense to me being late and thought that since I was friends with Kourtney Kardashian, I was taking advantage of it, and that wasn't really the situation. The Kardashians have also spoken out about how much they hate lateness a few times before, including when Kim Kardashian told Interview in September 2022 that not being punctual is the thing that stresses her out more than anything else, confessing, I hate being late. That's the one thing where I'm just like, oh my god, I need my CBD pen. I'm freaking the f out. You should be used to that. If you are welcomed into the Kardashian-Jenner world, it sounds like the line between work life and personal life can get a bit blurry. Kim Kardashian's former personal assistant Stephanie Shepard told Refinery29 in 2017 that anyone working for the family will need to be sociable and ready to bond with, well, pretty much the whole squad, sharing, everyone who works for the Kardashian family is part of this little tribe. Assistants, makeup artists, housekeepers, security. We get each other Christmas presents. We take care of all the kids like they're our own kids. It's truly one big extended family. But don't think that the Kardashians will go easy on their employees just because they've grown close to them. What you did, you could do whatever. But when it affects like my family, me, then that's when like it's a problem. Former Dash employee Caroline Alienbert, who appeared on the Keeping Up with the Kardashians spinoff Dash Dolls, told E! News in 2015 that the family wasn't afraid to let them know if something they did was subpar, adding, You'll forget something and you won't even know it, but you'll get in trouble for it. Former assistant Stephanie Shepard has said that working with the Kardashians isn't necessarily always as fun and exciting as it may appear on TV. When she was still on Kim Kardashian's payroll, she had a lot of tedious behind-the-scenes work to tackle. Needless to say, there is quite a bit going on in the Kardashian-Jenner empire, and it takes a village to keep things running smoothly. I need to make sure you guys think my dress is cute. As Shepard explained to Refinery29, I think everyone thinks this job is super glamorous. And I can't lie, it is. But don't forget that with all of that glamour comes schlepping the bags and the suitcases and taking the fall when something goes wrong. But while a Kardashian assistant is likely to be found working on the logistics of the glamorous events behind the scenes, that doesn't mean you get to slack in the fashion department. Former Dash Doll stars Durrani Popol and Stephanie de Souza told E! News in 2015 that they were expected to maintain a presentable look while they worked at the sisters' Dash stores because they were faces of the glam brand. If you want to be part of the Kardashian-Jenner workforce, you're probably going to need to be comfortable with dogs, and even the odd pig. You don't have to name it Wilbur, I just named it that. A source told Radar Online in 2016 that the family's assistants are often required to take care of their animals, as well as their more standard everyday tasks, claiming, Every time anyone in the family gets a pet, the assistant has to take care of them. Walking dogs, changing kitty litter, potty training… It's a huge burden for the rest of the family, so the job falls on the assistant to do all the dirty work. The Kardashian-Jenner family has seen a lot of dogs over the years. Kylie Jenner's boyfriend, Travis Scott, couldn't even remember the names of her four dogs in a July 2018 GQ interview. But it's not just canines that Kardashian assistants should be able to take care of. As a source told E! News in 2012, Kim Kardashian ended up giving a kitten named Mercy to Khloe Kardashian's assistant, Sydney Hitchcock. Evidently, Kim realized she was allergic to the cat after receiving Mercy as a gift from then-husband Kanye West. Sadly, Mercy died shortly afterwards. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your f up and work.
If you're working for the Kardashians or Jenners, you maybe shouldn't expect to be paid like one. Jessica DeFino, who was an assistant editor for Kardashian Jenner official apps, claimed to Vice in 2022 that her pay was apparently so paltry that there were times she couldn't afford gas, confessing, the wages were low and laughable in LA, especially considering my experience. She told the outlet that her salary was around $35,000 a year, even though she worked around the clock to make sure the reality star's abs met their needs. What's more, in 2017, there was a rumor that salary may have been one of the reasons Kim Kardashian parted ways professionally with Stephanie Shepard. An insider claimed to Life & Style, Shepard supposedly wanted another $20,000. Kim had been paying Shepard $65,000 a year. She'd been working for Kim for three years with no raise and knew it was time to ask. Shepard stopped working for Kim shortly after, with People's Insider claiming it was Kim's decision, but didn't clarify if salary played a part, adding, She was a good assistant, but when Stephanie wanted to transition into a larger role with Kim's brand and businesses, it just didn't work. Luckily, since leaving the company, Shepard has remained friends with Kim and Kourtney Kardashian.